Even if you don't live anywhere near snow, you may have heard of lynx and snowshoe hares. Lynx specialize in catching and eating snowshoe hares, and hares specialize in running away from lynx and everything else that wants to eat them. Both lynx and snowshoe hares have evolved to see well at night, so while we're sleeping comfortably in our beds, these animals are playing a game of vigilance in the darkness. We don't currently know how light pollution affects lynx and snowshoe hares, but we do know that it has tremendous effects on other animals such as migrating birds. Many animals are adapted to living their lives in the dark, and they're not able to flip an evolutionary switch whenever we flip on a light switch. I live in Alaska, and my work takes me into the wilderness during the depths of winter. For me, the beauty of the night sky is at its peak during this time, whether it's a moonless night full of stars, the Milky Way, and the Aurora Borealis, or whether the moon is at full power, reflecting off the snow and creating a new daylight from the ground up. It's a tragedy that these phenomena get lost among the strange orange glow of city lights, even in Alaska. My name is Dash Feyerabend, I'm a wildlife biologist, and I support the mission of the International Dark Sky Association.